Good morning, everybody. Um, Mr. C here. Going to walk you guys through the gas pedal. So first things first, obviously, we sign in. Um, AAPS.onshape.com. So today we're going to make a gas pedal. And the, kind of the new features we're focusing on today um, are going to be sweep, adding a new plane, um, projecting geometry from other features onto new planes, and then appearances, coloring, that kind of stuff. So the first things first, after you sign in, you're going to see Teams. You're going to see all company users, just like we have been for the last couple of these. Um, and then you're going to go to Gas Pedal. After you're in Gas Pedal, you're going to see View Only or Copy Only. Uh, so you come to the stack, you go to Copy Workspace, and instead of Copy, we change this like we have been to Your Name with Gas Pedal. Press OK, and now it'll create a whole new workspace for you guys. Um, kind of nice. So once we're done we're here, our main goal here is to create from what we see here, this is what I'm going to call an eye a lot within this, uh, this whole entire tutorial. Um, so from this eye, we want to project and make a sweep that goes into this foot pedal. Okay. So in order to do that, we can't just draw a line or a curve that goes from there because there is no geometry from here. There is no geometry from here really that allows us to do that. So we need to create some planes. And we need to create an arc that allows us, it's going to be called a spline later, um, that allows us to sweep that, that feature or that plane, um, this profile, sorry, um, across that line. So in order to do that, first step we're going to do is we're going to mess with this gas pedal first. And we're going to use a new feature um, that allows us to create planes through points. So if you come up here, you're going to see plane. And instead of offset like we've been normally using, we're going to, they have a lot of features here, but we're just going to focus on three point three point and if you look at the walkthrough here it points out that on the back side we're gonna pick this point this point and then on the inside this point and as you can see it loads there and you can see the profile and now the plane that we just made goes through those three points okay it creates a custom plane it does not create a sketch yet just a plane okay and it says that so you can't draw on this unless you create a new sketch so we're going to hit the green check mark, and now we have a plane that we can work with. And we are going to create a sketch, like I just said, onto that plane now. Okay. So I'm going to go actually um, click that plane, and I can't stand a lot of times when you're when you're looking at this at a weird angle. You can draw in this angle no matter what, but I like looking at it true. So I'm going to right click and go to View Normal 2, and that'll make it so that it's flat and pretty, um, in a lack of a better word. So once we're good here, we're going to right click on that and click new sketch. As you can see, it says sketch one and plane one. Those are one and the same kind of plane just allows you to select something, whereas a sketch allows you to draw something. So in this, now that we have this sketch, I am going to move this around a little bit just so you guys can get a better view of what I'm doing. Um, you want to project those points here, here, and here. Um, actually onto this plane. It may look like they're there, but they're not. And we need to use those to draw something, um, which is the kind of the next step. So we're going to come over here and you see this little cube. It says use, project, or convert. And we're going to select those same dots that we just did, as well as this one extra one down here. And it'll allow us to have, as you can see, those white dots kind of glow now, um, geometry, and this is projecting geometry, geometry onto that new sketch. Okay, so you can see I'm still in sketch one up here. That's how you know that you're projecting it onto that sketch one. So I'm going to stay in that sketch. I'm going to turn that off. And I'm going to come to the, the line. And I'm going to draw literally a line that just makes an X. Okay. And then I'm going to come over here and you see point. I'm going to turn line off. And I'm going to hit point. And where these two intersect, I want that point to come across. And that's going to be on that sketch now. You can see it goes through. I'm going to hit the green check mark, and now I have a reference point that I can use later on when I'm drawing things. And we'll get back to that. That's it for the gas pedal portion, or I should say the foot pedal portion. Um, now that we've drawn that, we're going to offset a line, um, or a plane, I should say, basically to allow us to draw or to begin to draw um, these new features onto uh, this plane. So you're going to see here. We're going to come over, and, and if I look at the front plane, for example, you'll see, like, in this view, right, if I kind of twist this around, this front view would not cross, let me see if I can get it perfect here, that line would not cross 
into this plane center on. You see, we want a plane that goes literally through the center of this eye and the center of this petal. The front plane does not. So what we're going to do is we're going to cheat and we're going to create a plane that does go through both of these so that we can draw that line, that path that we can sweep later. So in order to do that, we're going to make sure you turn the front plane on and then you are going to offset that plane. So we're going to come back over to plane like we have been. We're going to choose the front plane. And if you look, um, automatically it goes to uh, the left, and we want it to go to the right. So we're going to switch that little black arrow here, and we want it to go that way. And we want it, as the directions say, 0.394. Hit the green check mark, and you can see now it creates a little preview. That line will go through not only the center of the eye, but the center of the petal. So we are golden. Press the green check mark, and now we have that. We can turn that front view off, and that's we don't even need that later. And we've created a second plane. Now what we're going to do is create a new sketch onto the eye. And we need to create a reference point here in the center like we did in the um, petal itself over here. So what we're going to do is instead of making an X that goes through this, we can use what they've already given us. And what I mean by that is if you right click, new sketch onto that eye, you can see the little you know blue box that goes around. We create a new sketch. And I'm going to create and go right to point. I'm not even going to make a line. I'm going to go to point. I'm going to move my mouse. I'm not dragging anything or clicking anything. I'm going to go to the center of this top line. As you can see, it projects it down in the center of this line. And where they intersect, like it does right here, I click once. And as you can see, it creates that point that we need for um, making the spline. All I did was just move my mouse around to the center, follow my mouse down, and it automatically is smart enough to kind of identify where those two centers intersect. Okay. So after we do that, now we're going to start actually drawing the spline. So we're going to click that green check mark, and now that we have that plane, we can right click on that new plane that we've created and offset and hit new sketch. Now as you do that, you're going to have to make sure that you use these two dots that we've created. So we're going to come into use and select this dot, and as you can see now it's creating um, this whole other thing. I'm sorry. We got to be in the sketch in order to do that. I apologize. So sketch two, got to be into it. And all I did again was I created on plane two, right click, new sketch. And as you can see, now it's sketch three. I'm in that sketch. I go to point and I zoom in here and you're going to see that these two dots that these two dots are going to be selectable. So we come into, as you can see here, sketch three. All I did was looked at plane two, right clicked and hit sketch three. And now you can see that these two dots are going to be selectable. And all you can see it kind of move that sketch three to make it bigger um, so that it can, it can select those. So I select it again. I just um, use again and select the first dot that we created this crosshair here and then the cross dot that we made over here. And after I do that, I can zoom out and get out of use, go to the front view, and I'm going to come over to a new command called spline. So spline is here, and now as you can see, and the reason we did all this is so that as you can see, I can click, I can actually use those two dots that I did to create a new path. So I'm going to click once, I'm going to click twice, and as you can see, this thing can be really funky. Um, you just press escape and it'll create that spline. Now in order to, and then we're going to get out of spline, in order to modify this to make it the curve that we want to, we're going to use these things called handles. And these handles are these little white dots. If you click, hold, and drag, you can bend this line and maneuver it to any direction you want. I kind of made a reference and shown you guys um, in there. This is not, there's no perfect science here. Um, it's to make it look pretty. You kind of want an arc that looks like this. These handles should, you know, they shouldn't be like way down here. Um, the, the spline will not work if it's too funky. So, you know, kind of use your imagination here. You're going to see on the um, walkthrough that I did make a pretty detailed, um, you know, kind of example there. So you can look at it if you want and see, see how to make it look. So we create that spline and we're good to go. We can hit that green check mark and we've moved that. Now we're going to sweep this eye along that path. So we're going to go to sweep like we've used before up here in the top left. And we're going to select, obviously I already pre-selected that eye. And the sweep path in this case is that new spline we made. And as you can see, it's diving right into that piece. And we are going to add and merge with all. And all that does is creates that path that merges this, this main housing and the actual pedal, the, the stand itself all together. 
press the green check mark. And as you can see, if I turn all these other planes off to make this a little bit more viewable for you, you see that now you have your whole entire pedal. Um, you can turn these other sketches off too, even if you want. Um, and we're pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay? So that's the, uh, the actual modeling of it. After we're done with that, you can make this thing look fun. Um, now we're going to use what's called Add Appearance. So you can click on literally any surface that you've ever created. So I can click this, I can click these, and multiple. And if you don't want multiple selections, you just unclick it. You don't have to hold Shift like you would in a document or anything like that. You can just randomly click a whole bunch of different objects. Um, for the sake of time, I'm not going to go crazy here. I'm just going to do these objects here. But you can do multiple objects. You can do single ones individually, whatever you want. But all I did was click. I didn't click a command or anything. I just clicked each one of these surfaces. After I click the ones that I want, say I want all these to be green. I right click it, go down to the very bottom, and you're going to see Add Appearance to Five Faces. And this pops up. In here, you can do pretty much whatever you want color-wise. You can even go into a mixer and pick whatever you want from here if you want. Um, like I said, I want green, so I'm not going to use the traditional palette. I'm going to use uh, a mixer here. So I'm going to go into green. Of course, we are looking around here. You move this around. And say you like this color and you want to use it later, you can come down after you set the color here and just hit this little plus. And as you can see, it'll add it down here for later use. Um, but that's pretty much it. And then you can press the green check mark, and now you can color things within your design. Um, mine, obviously, I made uh, Huron colors because we are the River Rats. So mine looks something like this, um, but you don't have to make it look like this. I just wanted you guys to have fun and do something that's, you know, kind of unique in your own mind. So if you guys have any questions, that's pretty much it. Um, ask your teacher, and I hope this helps.